Good morning, you guys. Happy Wednesday for me. It should be Thursday for you guys. This house is a wreck. I was in the kitchen all day yesterday, canning and baking, and I did not, I did not have time to clean or do anything. So, got to get this house cleaned up, um, plus the dishes, some of the dishes from yesterday that I didn't get done. I did like two, I, I washed so many dishes yesterday. So, <laughs> the rest of that, I do need to make a loaf of Dutch oven bread today as well. Um, Winston is home. He's a little under the weather. He doesn't have a fever or anything. I really think it's allergies. He is, he gets super congested and it's been, you know, cold and hot and the weather changing and then, you know, him breathing air in the colder air and whatnot through the night whenever he's like practicing and stuff for soccer. So I've noticed that his allergies are starting to flare up. And so last night he did not sleep good last night. So I texted his teacher this morning and was like, I'm just gonna keep him home to double check, you know, make sure he doesn't have a fever throughout the day. Um, he did not sleep good last night. So he is home, but he is downstairs trying to rest, taking medicine as needed. Um, so y'all probably won't see him much today, but he is home. Um, Y'all can send all the positive vibes our way, hopefully, that he doesn't get sick. Um, but let's tackle, let's tackle this house together. We got to get this done because I don't want to, but y'all always motivate me and y'all say I motivate you. So let's do it together. Open up the window I'm breathing in the last of September I can feel the wind blow And the late summer sky is like a giant ember Since I was a little child Every year for as long as I remember All the leaves were running wild Going all the way until November Turn the finish up the dishes I'm gonna go ahead and start this Dutch oven loaf that way it can be sitting y'all know I've shared this recipe all kinds of times it's one of my favorites so I'll have the recipe link down below just got my water in there added my sugar and then I'm just gonna add my yeast and then I'm just gonna let this bloom for a second 
and then we'll come back to it and add in the flour and the salt. Oh, I forgot the last cup of water. Okay, I added in my flour and my salt, and now I'm just gonna mix it together. So whenever I'm doing a Dutch oven loaf, I just mix it, and then I just let it sit on the counter for about four hours. Of course, you can do it longer, but four hours makes a pretty good loaf as well. So, that's what we're gonna do, just mix it up, and let it sit. Dryer's still going. I'm gonna go ahead and get supper going in the crock pot. Got some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And I'm keeping it simple, and I'm just making one of Luke's favorites. Uh, he loves the Italian chicken pasta. So that's what I am going to make tonight. I'm gonna put five in there.
I love serving this for me. Um, I'll scoop some of this out before I mix in the pasta and I serve it over broccoli and it's so good. So that sounds good to me tonight. So I thought I'll make Luke's favorite and I can have this over broccoli and they can have pasta and broccoli if they want. So I just dump that packet of Italian seasoning in there. And then I'm gonna add in two cans, two of my uh, home cans of soup. cream cheese right on top and then I just put the lid on it and with it being chicken thighs it's only going to take about four to six hours so should be done so I ended up having three chicken thighs left so I put a little olive oil in this bag and I'm gonna add some seasoning and just let these sit in the fridge for a couple hours and I can cook these for lunch on the grill. to start working on lunch. Winston wanted peanut butter sandwich. So I'm gonna make him peanut butter sandwich and then put some other stuff on here as well. And then I will cook me that chicken. And I don't know, we might just eat the chicken. We'll see.
him all situated. So now I'm going to cook this chicken. I changed because it's got hot. I need to get out of that hoodie. Dutch Oven Loves proofing and my proofing baskets over here. This is what happens when you get distracted and you try to do multiple things at once. I kind of burnt the chicken. It'll be alright. I will still eat it. Um, I'm going to clean this mess up and then make me something to eat. Have some leftover buns from yesterday so I'm gonna take and make me a barbecue chicken sandwich Whoop. I'm not doing very well at multitasking and all that stuff today <laughs> well, let's see which one doesn't look as bad they kind of all do There we go. Still gonna taste good. Just a little charred. That is my lunch for today. Hey, you're good at making me lose my mind. Come around, don't I? And I know sometimes I'm bringing you down, but I always make you smile, don't I? Mm -hmm. We're like the waves on a big blue storm, you see. But still, you're the one who brings out the best in me.
and down and we keep falling till we hit the ground and then we we always get back up again we're a little messed up baby kind of up and down i got both loaves of bread done it's actually been a few hours i got distracted but they look so pretty so i'm just letting these cool um supper looks like it is working on getting done so all, all i'll have to do tonight is cook the broccoli cook the noodles add those noodles in um, mix it together a uh, recipe i'll have linked down below i've made this a ton on my channel it's a favorite So I'm gonna scoop me some of this out before I add in the pasta. I just cooked my broccoli in the microwave. Just gonna scoop, scoop me some broccoli out. And then I just ladle it in there. You can top it with cheese if you want to. Um, I just really like it this way. I still eat pasta. I just pick and choose when I want it and how I want it. And tonight I really wanted broccoli. So instead of having pasta and broccoli, I might as well just eat it like that because I like it that way. And I've been eating so many like homemade bagels and everything. I definitely don't need those, that extra pasta right now. Oh, once this pasta is done, I will put it in here, mix everything up. If it's too thick, I will add a little bit of pasta water. It just depends. Push the door, Max. Push it. I like to mix mine up so good I have tried spaghetti squash not a fan of spaghetti squash but I love using like broccoli even some zucchini um, any you know other vegetable than spaghetti squash <laughs> but this is a favorite of mine um, and I mean, you can do this with any sauce um, I do this with spaghetti sauce. You know, if I don't want to eat the pasta, if I'm having, you know, a pasta night, I do this with spaghetti sauce. You can do this with all kinds of different things. I love it. Um, but that is it for today. I hope y'all enjoyed hanging out with us, seeing part of our everyday life. I think Winston is good to go back to school tomorrow. Um, knock on some wood. <laughs> Got plenty of wood in this kitchen. Um, he still has not had a fever, so I think he's okay to go back to school. I do really just think it's allergies. He's had several doses of medicine today, so I think that might help kick it out of there. But Luke is actually home tonight, so we are going to hang out, eat lunch, lunch, eat supper, and get ready for bed. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.